And former US President Donald Trump says he's been indicted for an alleged federal crime. North America correspondent Carrington Clark joins me from Washington. Carrington, what more do we know? We begin our report with the hazy conditions that persist in the eastern United States. Millions of Americans spent a second day Thursday under a veil of smoke from wildfire. The case that made national headlines for years. Tonight, the lead suspect in the Natalie Holloway disappearance, Joran Vandersloot, has now been extradited to the U.S. He arrived late today from Peru. What are the charges that brought him here? News Live. Good evening, everyone. I'm Lindsay Davis. Thank you so much for streaming with us. We're following breaking news at this hour. The prime suspect of the 2005 unsolved disappearance of Natalie Holloway has arrived in the U.S. from Peru to face charges connected to the case. Joran Vandersloot landed in Birmingham, Alabama today. We're back now with a significant update nearly two decades after Natalie Holloway's disappearance. Joran Vandersloot, the man long suspected of playing a role in that case, is on U.S. soil tonight to face... Welcome to CBS News Primetime. I'm John Dickerson. Tonight, breaking news. Former President Donald Trump has been indicted for the second time. Mr. Trump now facing federal charges for his handling of classified documents. A federal so I just want to tell you, I'm an innocent man. I did nothing wrong. Another indictment, the same defense. They're trying to destroy a reputation so they can win an election. Tonight. We begin with this Fox News alert. This is Fox News Tonight. I'm Harris Faulkner. The Justice Department has just indicted former President Donald Trump over his handling of classified documents after he left office.